Hi, my name is uh, Professor Gerard Evan. I'm Professor of Biochemistry at the University of Cambridge and I've recently had the privilege of working with the Irish Cancer Society in the development of their new initiatives, these collaborative centres. Now, the first of their centres is um, focused on breast cancer and it's going to be a completely revolutionary way of trying to do cancer research, bringing in some 70 investigators from all over the country to try and understand what it is that makes breast cancers tick and how to take them down. Now, cancers are complex diseases. They arise because cells in a particular tissue acquire random errors and mutations that make them more and more malignant until eventually the patient succumbs to the disease. In order to understand them, we also have to understand that cancers come in many different flavors and shapes and sizes, even within one tissue. So this collaborative center that's focused on breast cancer will itself be looking at several different types of neoplastic cancer-like disease. Now, in order to understand them, we need to bring people together from all sorts of disciplines. It's a very broad church. We need biologists, we need doctors, we need um, computer scientists, mathematicians, bioinformaticians, all sorts of people. And the only way to solve the problem of cancer and develop better therapies is to bring these people together in a way that enables them to talk to one another. Hence, this new initiative of collaborative centers. This first collaborative center, the first of five, will bring together some 70 investigators, plus all the people that work with them, plus the training of new students to try and understand how to make cancer therapy better, how to understand the disease better, and how to improve the outlook for patients who suffer from this disease. Now, Ireland's in a really unique position for this sort of a, a, an initiative. You have a relatively small country with a very high standard of healthcare, great doctors, really good scientific tradition, and of course you also have the Irish Cancer Society that can actually do innovative things because it is supported by people and it doesn't have to answer to governments or particular vested interests. So all around the world we're very, very excited about this initiative which I think paves the way for what we might be doing in other countries and will really make a difference to patients who suffer from this terrible disease and I'm very, very proud to have been a part of it.